Hey guys, it's Trish from Trish's Card Club, recorded in Orlando. I have a new saying now because you could be looking at this on Facebook or you could be looking at this from YouTube. So I am trying to accommodate all areas. How are you guys? Happy Sunday night. I hope your day went well. Um, mine was really good, pretty relaxing, got a lot of chores and stuff done. I need a three-day weekend though. I really need a three-day weekend. Gonna have to be talking to my boss. So I'm not sure about tonight's class, but I thought I would give you a little chuckle before we started class. So I'm going to put something in front of the camera. This is one of the things I did today. Now what possibly could this be? I don't want to leave it there too long because I'm afraid I'm going to get censored by Facebook or YouTube. So here's what it is. These are favors for my best friend's daughter's graduation. And I, those are the little diplomas. Now this is all a Stampin' Up! product. Sadly though, Stampin' Up! doesn't sell these boxes anymore and they're already sold out from being discontinued. And her, my friend Hazel, the mom, is going to be making chocolates to put on the inside. So those are all the um, um, diplomas that I made that I have to finish now putting the little ribbon on and gluing down to the boxes. And my dear friend Karen helped me make all these boxes this weekend. So we've been busy. We've been busy. So that's my little treat. That's something I've been working on. So tonight's card... We are going to be using the Designer Series paper from the All Occasions uh, catalog that ends in June, which I, 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 I have it right, you guys. It ends June, it says right here, June 30th, 2021. The weird thing is the catalog ends May 3rd, so I'm not sure all what Stampin' Up! has planned or why they did that, but... Regardless, that's the case. And the paper is still available. It's the Hydrangea Hill Design a Series paper. So this is the paper that we're going to be using. Oh, and by the way, listen. Do you hear that? Yep, that chair didn't work out, people. It went right back to the store. And Steve and I went to Ikea today to look for a chair, but nothing worked. So maybe next weekend we'll try a couple of the office um, supply stores and see if we can find something. I know, who would have thought buying an office chair would be that hard, but... I haven't had any luck. So these, this is the paper that we're going to use. And you guys, this is inspired from a demonstrator from Australia. Uh, Happy Stamping in, uh, no, no, New Zealand. Happy Stamping in New Zealand is her website. She did a really cute card and I was like, it looks so easy. So I thought, well, let me try it. But it wasn't as easy as I thought. So I don't know how tonight's card is going to come up because I've made three of them and none of them look like her card at all. So I guess you could say in some ways it's originally inspired. So we'll see. So thanks for the people that are joining me. Um, <laughs> Judy, I am sorry about the chair too because <laughs> I liked it. I found one at, at IKEA that was very comfortable, but the chair was so ugly. I was like, Stephen, I just can't, I cannot buy the chair. It was a good price comfortable but it was just so ugly i couldn't do it i couldn't do it all righty now these are for my people who did the paper share that got the six by 12 paper share we're going to be using it what i was hoping was to be able to get three cards out of this uh card idea using a six by 12 sheet of paper but because this is directional i can't do that i'm only going to be able to get two cards which is still really nice um we'll be happy with two so the first thing that i'm going to do is I'm going to take my cutter and I'm going to cut this down to four inches. And this, of course, um, I could use for the, I, I can use, never mind. I, I will be able to use for the envelope. Now I'm going to cut this one at six inches. So if, bef if it was um, not directional, I could have gotten four, four, and four. And it just didn't work out. But there, like I said, it's still going to be pretty. There's still going to be two very, very pretty cards. So that's cutting. I think that's all we need for cutting. Yeah, that's all we need for cutting. I'm not sure why I have this piece of paper here. I don't know what I was going to do with it. I think I'm going to show you something I did with this. I think. Oh, God help. God help me. God help me with this, with this card. Okay. So the base of the card is going to be gorgeous grape because it is gorgeous. So isn't that going to be beautiful together? That's going to look beautiful. I'm going to just put this aside because we're just going to focus on one for, for now. Then I got out my handy dandy many messages die and all the many messages that I have in here that I'm still using. 
I've cut this several times and I find I pick out some of the same ones. Like I haven't used anniversary yet and I haven't used congratulations yet, which means I probably need to send out more that say that. What do you think? So I have a few um, labels and I haven't decided yet what, what, what I'm going to use. Now you guys, this is the card. I'm not exaggerating. We are going to take this six inch by four inch designer series paper and we're going to tear it. And we're going to tear it about a third of the way up like that <laughs> I'm laughing you guys because it seems so simple but my my other samples did not work out and look at that isn't that gorgeous I love that I think that is so pretty now tearing used to be a very big deal back in the day and it kind of lost its its flavor favor and now it's kind of coming back Here's the thing. Okay, let me glue this down. Let me glue this down. And then I'll try to explain to you why this is not exactly the look that I was going for, but I haven't figured out how to get the look I was going for. But I still love this look because I think, one thing, the paper is so pretty. So this is, and then what you do is you just center it up here. And then that's how you get. And it actually works and looks a little better if you have, um, paper that you tear that has a white core because it's a it's it's a separation um and it looks really good um hey miss karen karen i need your address to send you a catalog i messaged you but i didn't get a response so send me off your address missy i need it okay then what i'm going to do is i'm going to take um some paper and i'm going to take the punch and i'm going to I'm going to do this in that color, which is Old Olive, and the little one in Gorgeous Grape, and fling that everywhere. And then I'm going to get some dimensionals. Oh, it was so nice not having squeaks in my chair, but it's not worth it. The chair was super uncomfortable on my legs. Um, um, it didn't have a lot of padding. And, and there was literally no padding around the edges, so it was really uncomfortable. So I think I'm on camera. I'm trying hard. My friend Karen reminds me to be to stay on camera, and I'm trying hard to do that. So let's do this here, and then we're going to do this here. So uh, the reason I'm finishing this card, you guys, is because if my next one's a failure, um, it's okay because we'll have one. Oops, that's crooked. Let's try to get that on a little straight. It's okay because this would look good. So it doesn't matter if, if the next one is, is a dud or not. So doesn't that look pretty? Of course, I am partial to purple and green. I, I really love those colors. You wouldn't know it because my house is navy blue and gray, and but I do love these colors. And then I pre-picked out some sayings from my many messages. And so I think think I'm going to do just wanted to say that way I can use this kind of for anything let me get some mini oh no 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 I lie I lie you guys I have this saying sending a smile your way that one I even like better and that will just let me have the flexibility of sending it for any purpose so let me put some small dimensionals on there oops that's not going to work I'm I have to put it further down two and three I wanted to thank everyone that came to my used uh, excuse me my retired stamp sale yesterday it was really nice to see everybody I hope you guys got good deals I think you did I don't know what the other ladies were selling so I didn't really get a chance to figure out but for mine I think you got good deals here's the thing sending smiles your way oh, that is really pretty isn't that you guys I love that now another option would be let me let me do another stamping um, hang on one second. Let me get another option that we could have done, which I think I was going to do. And if I hadn't talked so much, I would have done, but I think I got talking and lost track of what I was doing. We'll see. Okay. I'm just going to take this off, but I don't want to damage it because I may end up putting it back on. Sorry if I'm blinding you by getting too close to the camera. And then I'm going to take this one. So what I started to say was if you bought a stamp set from any of us yesterday and you are looking for ideas for that stamp set, all you need to do, yeah, this is what I wanted to do, you guys. All you need to do is go to Google, 
type in the name of the stamp set, and then after that, type in Stampin' Up. So many messages, Stampin' Up. And then hit Enter, and then hit Images, and you will get hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of ideas um, for card designs. So you can think up your own designs, or you can see what else is out there, and you can um, stubtail off what someone else might have already created. Don't ask me why, you guys, but I just like this better that it's on the bottom. So there's the card. It's very pretty, isn't it? I do really like it a lot. And I know you don't have to tear it, but tearing is cool. It's something different, and we don't do it a lot. So that's the first card. So let's go back to that second piece of paper. <clears throat> now, this is the way... I, I'm not exactly sure if I'm doing this right or not, but she tore it kind of at an angle. Like that. But see, you guys see my problem? And then if I cover that up, well, let me show you on a piece of paper. I know you people are out there laughing at me, and you have every right to because I cannot figure this out. And then if I cover it up, if I try to cover it up, I still get a little hole. And I know she didn't get a hole. So I cannot figure out how she did it. But however she did it, it looked remarkable, and um, I can't mimic it. So that is just something to give you a little chuckle tonight. We're going to stick with this card. That's why I finished it, and I love it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, and I'm going to put this on the back of my envelope and have a really beautiful card to send out. That is that. So let me show you a few more cards that I made with that same paper, just because I was concerned that um, it could potentially be a dud when I went to try to um, tear it at an angle. So keeping the same theme, this is all in the same design of series paper as, as I mentioned. This one, there's not enough contrast. So you can't really see this is torn, but it's there's not enough contrast to that one. But this one came out good. And then what I decided to do, even though the point of it was to show the tear, I had this really thin piece of um, Highland Heather, and it looked so pretty that I put that on there. So that's two more in the same. And then one more, you guys, that's not in the same paper. I just happen to have this design of series paper, so I thought I would do it because I have a lot of it, is this one right here. Now, isn't that pretty? Sending smiles your way. I thought that was really pretty. So they're very pretty cards. Um, I'm, I'm loving them. I am loving them. And now I have several cards made. And actually, I don't really get to keep these cards to send. My dear friend, Hazel, is looking for cards. So I'll be adding this to my um, card stack to give her when I see her. I'm going to be seeing her in May. I'm very excited for her daughter's graduation. I'll be going down to Fort Lauderdale for a couple of days. So I'm excited for my getaway. So that, you guys, is the cards for tonight under our Make It and Mail It on Sunday night. Or whenever you're listed, uh, watching the video, could be any time on replay. And I'm excited and appreciative that you um, take time to do that. I hope I kind of inspired you. If I didn't inspire you on this particular card design, hopefully I've inspired you on making cards and mailing them. And using up your design of series paper. Because we have another paper share coming up. And, of course, we're always looking for people that are interested. We have um, two more spots to fill uh, so we can get a foursome. We need a foursome to do each share. And what else? I think that's it. Uh, I have all the cards planned for m the month of May's card club. And I'm very, very excited, you guys. The Mother's Day card or birthday card, whichever you need that weekend, is so cute. You're going to love it. And whoever you give it to, be it your mom or a good dear friend, your daughter, whoever you give it to, they're going to be blessed. They're going to love it. So I'm really excited about that. All right, I think that's it. I think I took up enough of your time on a Sunday night. I would love to see who's on, but I have no idea because uh, as hard as I try, I can see Miss Judy and I can see Cindy. Let me see if I can see anybody else. And I can't, let me, let, no, I can't see anybody else. Oh, wait a minute. Hey, Miss Heller, it's Miss Linda. Oh, now I can see these people. Super. Oh, cool. Hey, Miss Mary. All right, now I think I might have figured out how I can see people. That is a 
a technological achievement, people, a technological achievement, because I kind of had given up hope um, since I moved back into my office that I could tell who was on. Well, for all of you guys that are out there watching and everybody that's watching the replay, I thank you very much. Around here at Trisha's Card Club, remember, we make it and we mail it. And we'll see you guys on Wednesday night.